In this video, we will see example on stiff shaft. We have to find out total angle of twist for the arrangement of the stiff shaft shown in the figure. If maximum shear stress is limited to 70 MPa and value of G is 8.4 into 10 raised to 4 MPa. So let us first see the arrangement. So as you can see, the two shafts are of 100 mm diameter. Shaft AB is of 100 mm diameter and shaft BC is of 50 mm diameter. Length of the shaft AB is 1.2 meter, whereas length of the shaft BC is 1.8 meter. The important part is that point C is subjected to the anti-clockwise torque of T, whereas point B it is subject to the it is subjected to the clockwise torque of 2T. So let us first draw the torque diagram and find out various values. So as you can see, we have considered some conventions. Clockwise torque, we have considered them as negative and anti-clockwise torque, we have considered them as positive. You can assume any convention. So let us start with point C. At point C, we are having anti-clockwise torque. So anti-clockwise torque is positive and the torque is of T. So we have written T over here. Just at the right of B, there is no other torque that is acting between C and P. So whatever the torque is there at point C, the same will be acting at just right of the B. But exactly at point B, there is a clockwise torque of 2T. So previous value is T minus 2T because clockwise torque we have considered them as negative. So value is minus T. T minus 2T, that is minus T. Between B and A, there is no other torque. So whatever the torque is there at point B, the same will be applicable to point A. So at point A, we are having torque of minus T. Minus sign indicates that it is a clockwise torque. So we can say that indirectly, it is nothing but the reactive torque, which is there at point A, and its magnitude is minus T. From this torque diagram, we can easily say that shaft AB is subject to the negative torque of T, whereas shaft BC, it is subject to the positive torque of T. Now it is given in the example that the permissible stress or maximum shear stress is nothing but what? It is 70 MPa. So we can say that the shaft which is having smaller diameter will be subjected to the maximum stress or greater shear stress as compared to that of shaft AB. Because wherever there is a less dimensions are there, it will be subjected to the more stress. So that is the simple concept that we are using over here. So whatever the value of shear stress that is given in the example, that is for shaft BC. Now for solid shaft, according to the strength concept, we know that torque is equal to pi by 16 tau d cube. Now these equations we have already derived in our machine design subject and the video is already there on our YouTube channel. You can go through that particular video. So substitute the value of torque. Diameter of shaft BC is 50. So pi by 16 into 70 into 50 cube. And just make this calculation. So that value comes out to be 1718060 Newton mm. The value of this particular torque T or TBC will be same for TAB only there is a sign difference. So for shaft AB the value will be same that is 1718060 Newton mm but only thing is that there will be difference in the sign that is minus 1718060 Newton mm. Now T upon J for BC will be same as Will be equal to g theta over l for bc so this is our regular torsion equation that we are using now j is the polar moment of inertia t is the torque g is modulus of rigidity of the shaft material theta is angle of twist and length of l is the length of the shaft bc we know that j or ip is the polar moment of inertia and for solid shaft is pi by 32 d raise to so substitute that value. You can transfer this 32 in the numerator also for the calculation purpose. So that will be equal to value of G is 8.4 into 10 raised to 4. Theta BC we have to calculate and length of BC is 1.8 meter that is 1.8 into 10 raised to 3 mm. So just do the calculations over here. Transfer this particular term 8.4 into 10 raised to 4 divided by 1.8 into 10 raised to 3 on this side it will become reciprocal so the value of theta bc we will get is 0 0.06 radian similarly we will formulate the equation for theta in case of torque 
in case of shaft AB. So again, use the equation that is the torsion equation T upon J is equal to G theta over L cross multiply by L and cross multiply by this J and then formulate the value of theta. So theta will be T L divided by J into G. Substitute the value of torque length J and G will get the value of theta AB over here. Now torque in AB shaft AB is minus T and that is nothing but the same value that we have calculated for BC. Length of AB is 1.2 meter, J is pi by 32, D raised to 4, where D is 100 for shaft AB and G is 8.4 into 10 raised to 4. So torque T is same, TBC and TAB, they are having same value of the torque, only thing is that there is a sign difference, torque in AB is negative. So using these values, so you can substitute the value of torque and length AB. Torque is nothing but what? So we have transferred this 32 over here. So it is minus 32. Torque is 1718060. Length of AB is 1.2 into 10 raised to 3 divided by pi 100 raised to 4 into 8.4 into 10 raised to 4 as it is. So if we make the calculation, then that value comes out to be 0. Point minus 0.0025. Now we have to find out the final answer. Total angle of twist will be equal to angle of twist of shaft AB plus angle of twist of shaft BC. So theta AB is nothing but just now we have calculated it is minus 0.0025 and theta BC we have calculated previously as 0 0.06. So total angle of twist will be 0 0.0575 radian. So in this way, we can solve example on step shaft. Thank you very much for watching.